Hello guys, it's Maisie and welcome back to a video where I will be showing you my settings for the G27 Logitech wheel. Uh, first of all, I like my wheel set up uh, in a way that I don't have uh, any rattling or clapping noise, which I really hate on that wheel and all of the Logitech wheels has them, have them. So yeah. My settings are just fine for myself. Uh, you can try my settings if you like it. That's good. If you don't, then go to look other on other places. So first of all, you need Logitech Profiler, which I think you're quite familiar with it. Then you will create your new profile for project cars. Go to Options and Global Device Settings and just basically copy this stuff. So overall FX on 100, then everything is set to 0%, enable centering spring and uh, 900 degree rotation and allow game to adjust settings. Then you will click OK. Then in uh, edit, you will click on specific game settings and you just uh, copy all these stuff as well. Basically it's the same as on the global page. So yeah, copy this and also hit OK. Then you can close it with the, with the minimizing button or you can close it with the X button and it's still on the tray here. Then I will launch my game and I will show you my force feedback settings for this wheel. It was really difficult to set the wheel, uh, especially when you are driving a car for a long endurance racing and your tires are going off the cliff or they are really uh, badly worn the wheel starts to shake and since I have these settings I didn't came across any wheel shaking due to the worn tires so yeah that's something which you can find useful so we can go into options then controls and you can go on uh, first of all you have to configure your wheel I'm not going to do that because then I will lose all my settings so basically you will have to calibrate your wheel to 90 degrees. You have to be, when the game asks you to rotate your wheel uh, about uh, 90 degrees, um, then it will show how much angle your wheel is rotating. And it has to be 900 degrees. It can't be 899 or or 901 what i found when i turned my wheel to the left i couldn't get uh, the 900 setting when i turned my wheel into the right i was able to get those 900 then you will just calibrate your pedals and you will be okay then uh, i think i will show you this so basically go to the calibrate for feedback or press I or everything which you say here and just copy these settings I have it on custom tire force is on 75 these things I think are on default then uh, the dead zone removal range is quite interesting because it has uh, a very great effect on these wheels uh, how the force feedback is presented to you because if it is on zero, then you will lose some sort of a minor force feedback things. And I use some special program which calculates this uh, dead zone removal, removal range number. So set it on the 18. Basically, it's fine when you set it on 15 to 20, I believe. So yeah, 18 works for me. Then I think this uh, are the uh, basic... Uh, default uh, settings so yeah just copy those and you'll be okay steering gain on one I think those two settings the low speed spring coefficient and a low speed spring saturation Zero is no default, I think, but what I really hated or was that when I was driving it was completely fine, but when I stopped the car, 
the wheel gets so heavy that it is you know very difficult and very unusual it is very realistic i would say if you don't have a car with uh, uh, power steering but nowadays yeah who doesn't have power steering so yeah i really hate when 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 you crash in the race when you crash and you're on the on the grass you want to get moving as soon as possible and when you stop the wheel goes so heavy and so unrealistically heavy that it, you have to fight the, the wheel and <laughs> you have to and and the motor is just getting punishment whatsoever with, without any reason so yeah this means that if you if you're stationary you can turn your wheel like with without any resistance so this is what i really like and also when i try to drift in this game which is quite difficult and i don't know how to drift in this game i can drift in asset of course with no problems but here i just can't set the car right and it was really annoying also with the drifts so yeah i think those two settings are the reason why your wheel is going heavy when you stop then i will show you the configuration page and this is just the settings for dead zones so just copy that i think these are i think these are default not sure and speed send is everything for zero force feedback overall is 85 some say that you have to have a hundred i don't i don't really care i have on 85 and it's completely fine for myself then yes i check the display which is the display on the wheel the ref counter basically Control modes, these are didn't touch. And the assignment, which is just my personal favorite for most of the games. So just, you can freeze this and just copy those kind of uh, settings, which I use. Uh, so yeah, you can copy these. And then, it's not all. You have to every every car has a specific uh, force feedback settings. So I was driving a Geneta a lot lately, so I will show you what I do. You have to go in a setting page, then force feedback, and this is basically what I have uh, on uh, basically every GT3 car, or I would like these settings and how these settings feel in every GT3 car. So I think the master scale of 26 is default and then I uh, put down the FX scale, FY scale for to 80 as well as MZ scale. Those uh, numbers or scales are basically the FX are the axis of the f mm, car moving front or maybe acceleration and braking. The FY is the longitude of the lateral think so uh, this is the forces which uh, um, which are present when you're turning with the car and FZ is the force on the bumps so basically the up and down force of the wheels and these I think this um, has a great effect on the clipping of the wheel so I turn I was uh, running with the zero on this but I said that I would like to have a little bit of the curb effects and stuff so I put it on 20 and it's completely fine it doesn't rattle it doesn't uh, clip the wheel doesn't clip so that's fine and also the MZ scale is basically the momentum when the car starts to slide and the back starts to step out so it's on 80 as well then those uh, smoothing uh, sliders uh, I was having I was having them on 10 which is default I put all of them to 30 just to you know smooth the clipping thing which is not present but when I had it on 10 the uh, strength or the force feedback strength was very like uh, forced uh, so I put these settings on 30 just to smooth those force feedback uh, things together to have it more like in, in car and not have it like a violent shaking wheel then this, this was the spindle page you have to click here and this is just on a personal preference I think uh, the default settings is like here with the body stiffness and body damping on 100 
And it's basically the forces which the driver feels when the car is uh, under the load, under the G, G-force load. And basically if you are in the middle of the corner, you can feel the wheel starts to resist when you're turning. And when you are approaching the straight and you unwiden the wheel from the turn, the wheel goes lighter. And this, this, this was the th settings that I really don't get. And it was disturbing to myself, so I just take this down. And all the body think scales are just on the minimal. And now the wheel isn't shaking that much. And I will show you on this car uh, on some track that uh, you know it doesn't clip on the force feedback page even if I'm it, it clips sometimes when you start to drift and you have to correct it rapidly but it's nothing major it's basically basically the just very easy and no clipping wheel so you can see on the left uh, top screen the yellow line next to the rpm thing there is the like force feedback graph or whatever and you will see now that it stays under the uh, top uh, line when i drive even over the curbs you can see that it's, i i feel just a little bit of uh, curb effects there but the wheel is so smooth right now Going over the curb, no clipping. Going over the curb once again, no clipping. But I can feel though that I'm driving on the curb, but not as much as with the default settings. And you can see that I'm turning, no clipping. Basically, very, very light wheel. And if you if you want a uh, not so light wheel and you want uh, a bit more heavy, then you just adjust the uh, scale, the master scale in the first force feedback settings. Uh, driving over the curb, drifting a little bit and crashing into the wall. And you could see no clipping whatsoever. And now I can turn the wheel very easily. When I was in this situation, when I told you before, the wheel gets so heavy that you have to, you know, go through the resistance of the motor, which was quite annoying. So I hope that these settings will help you. If you don't like it, then, uh, you know try something else but these settings i think they feel quite realistic for me as well and i really like them and i get rid of the clipping so hopefully it will help and i'll see you in uh, another video so take care guys